like hell. You're the one that called me. If it's for something stupid, I'll beat the crap out of you. Fine. Then see for yourself whether or not you think it's stupid. There. Ecolo's Alcade? Hey, hey, hurry up or you'll lose her. But why do I have to... I remember the last time we fought. You used something against me, didn't you? Yeah, well, that trick isn't going to work on me this time. For our next match, I'm going to have a specialist monitor it. Then I will expose your trickery to the entire world. <laughs> I guess that serves you right. She noticed the avatar, you know. How are you gonna handle this, Emperor? Well, don't you worry about it. I'm gonna fight her before you will. Just you wait. I'm going to take her down without even using my avatar. And after I'm done with her, next is... It doesn't interest me in the slightest bit how you choose to fight her. But... I will tell you one thing. Huh? al -Qaid is a very strong fighter. As you are now, there's no way you can defeat her. No, not without using the Avatar anyway. Don't get yourself so blinded by your foolish pride that you lose sight of what's in front of you. I can't beat al -Qaid? There's no way in hell! What, you think you can win every time? That you won't lose? Damn straight I won't! Look, kid. I don't know anything about the problems you and Endrance might have had in the past. But the arena is not the kind of place where you can survive on false pride alone. Even if you train till you drop and you work with all of your tactics, there is still a small chance that something could upset the whole situation in the actual battle. But the minds of the fighters are filled with their short-sighted pride, making them think that victory can come easily. That empty pride is turned into shackles. Shackles that hold you down. Why can't you or al see that? Damn Antares, talking like he knows it all. Damn it, makes me sick. Guess I'll log out and check my email. <laughs>